हेलो गाइस लेट्स डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन सर्कल्स फ्रॉम आर डी शर्मा वे दिस प्रॉब्लम सेज ए बी सी डी इज अ साइक्लिक क्वारडिलेटरल एज यू कैन सी इन दिस फिगर ए बी सी डी ऑल दीज फोर पॉइंट्स लाइंग ऑन द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल वाइल जॉइनिंग ऑल दीज फोर पॉइंट्स यूल मेक अ साइक्लिक क्वारडिलेटरल इन विच बी एंड सी डी वेन प्रोड्यूस फर्दर सो दे मीट एट पॉइंट ई and ea is equal to ed so it has been given that this length ea is equal to ed now you need to prove that in the very first part that ad is in parallel with bc and in the second part you need to prove that eb is equal to ec so how will you prove this so let's take our first part where you need to prove that ad is in parallel with bc how you can prove this part if you can prove that alternate internal angles between ad and bc will be same then you can say that ad will be in parallel with bc so let's see let's start with triangle ead because you have been given a condition that ea is equal to ed so what you'll do let's consider triangle ead in this triangle what do you know you know that ea is equal to ed so when two sides of a triangle are equal which makes this triangle an isosceles triangle so when this is an isosceles triangle then angles opposite to the equal sides of a triangle will be same so if this angle is theta this angle is going to be theta as well let's draw this again e a d in this triangle you know that this side is equal to this side so angles opposite to the equal sides of a triangle will be same so if this is theta this will be theta as well now after calculating this you can write here that triangle ead is an isosceles triangle and when this is an isosceles triangle according to an isosceles triangle property you can say that angles opposite to equal sides of a triangle will be same this is the isosceles triangle property now you can say that angle ead will be equal to angle eda and i am considering that this angle is theta now after this as you know that adbc this is a cyclic quadrilateral and there is a line between ad which is joining a with d now when you extend this line further in both the direction you can see that this line is intersecting the line eb so when two line intersects each other you know that their opposite angles will be same so you can write here if this is theta this angle will be theta as well and if this is this is theta then opposite angle is this this will be theta as well you can write here in the second step that angle mab mab is equal to angle ead why lines are intersecting and when lines intersect each other their opposite angles will be same same applies on this angle ndc is equal to angle eda same condition now if this angle is theta you know that edc these points are lying on a line because we have produced the same line cd till point e so these all three points are the part of a line and you know that angle between eda this is theta if this is theta then this angle is going to be you can see here clearly this angle is theta this point is e this is d and this is c so what this angle will be as you know that this is a line this will be the straight angle 
if this is theta this angle will be 180 minus theta so that after summation of these two angles you will get 180 degree so this angle will be 180 degree minus theta this angle will be 180 degree minus theta so you can write here directly angle DAB is equal to angle ADC this is equal to 180 degree minus theta and you know that as ABCD this is a cyclic quadrilateral so sum of opposite angles will be 180 degree so you can write here sum of angle A plus C will be 180 degree so from here what you will get value of angle C after substituting the value for A which is 180 degree minus theta so after substitution you will get angle C as theta so when you sum both of these angles you will get 180 degree and when when you will apply the when you will apply the same thing on angle B and angle D what you will get summation should be 180 degree so value of angle B after substituting the value for angle D which is 180 degree minus theta you will get value of angle B as theta. Now what you will do after this you can see here that MAB is equal to ABC which makes two which makes alternate internal angles equal when two when alternate in, uh, alternate internal angles are equal then those two lines will be parallel to each other as we say this is the vice versa property when two lines are parallel to each other you know that their alternate internal angles will be equal but if their alternate internal angles are equal then those two lines will be parallel to each other so you can write here that angle MAB is equal to angle ABC which is equal to theta alternate internal alternate internal angles are same between between the lines between the lines AD and BC between the lines AD and BC which makes which makes AD in parallel with BC hence proved now let's take our second part in this second part you need to prove that EB is equal to EC in the first part we saw that angle MAB we saw that angle MAB and angle ABC is equal to theta and here it applies uh, here it applies on the angle at D and DC and DCB as well now in triangle EBC what you have to do consider triangle EBC in this triangle you know that angle EBC e, is equal to angle ECB and this is equal to theta when angles when two angles of a triangle are equal then sides opposite to those angles will be equal so from here you can say that side EB will be equal to side EC why because triangle EBC is an isosceles triangle why EB is equal to EC from here when we saw that two angles of this triangle are same which makes this triangle an isosceles triangle that's why side EB is equal to EC I really hope there should be no doubt in this problem. I will be taking more problems in the coming video lectures. Thank you.